Dear participants, I would like to thank you and especially Rani Angara for the opportunity to participate in your event to celebrate International Women's Day via this video message. My name is Ulrike Runacek. I'm a Green member of this European Parliament from Austria and I'm also Vice President of the European Parliament. I work on foreign affairs, on civil liberties, justice and home affairs and being a lesbian woman myself, I'm also President of the Parliament's intergroup on lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender rights. Let me tell you that I myself have a very long history of activism against violence against women and for women's rights both in civil society and in the Austrian, as well as now in the European Parliament. As a very young woman, like 35 years ago, I participated in the task force to set up the first shelter for battered women and children in the west of Austria, a very Catholic, very conservative part of the country. Back then, I witnessed the daily struggle of women who had become victims of domestic violence. That was a watershed moment for me, personally, and for my political convictions and my political career. And what I learned then made me participate in the One Billion Rising movement against violence against women, which we celebrated with a dance here in this part of the European Parliament two years ago, with many of you and other women worldwide. As you know, according to UN Women, Still today, women perform 66% of the world's work, produce 50% of the food, but we only earn 10% of the income and only own 1% of property. This totally unacceptable, unacceptable ratio, unfortunately, has not changed since the UN Women's Conference in Nairobi 30 years ago. It is about human dignity when I say that we all, we women, deserve the same opportunities as men have in the fields of education, of employment, of career options, of political participation, of access to health services, as well as to be economically independent and to live a life without fear and violence, and that should be regardless of our ethnic background, of age, of our level of education, of our abilities, of our political beliefs, our religion, or our sexual orientation. In this respect, the rights of girls and of young women to have information and access to contraceptives, and to have information about how to defend your bodily integrity are of utmost importance. And you know, at an international level, affecting women differently and often more cruelly than men, we are seeing an increase in armed conflict and terrorist activities in many parts of the world. This European Parliament has been very outspoken against violence against women in wars, in military conflicts, and especially against rape as a weapon in war and armed conflict. And in 2014, just a couple of months ago, we have awarded the Sakharov European Human Rights Award to Dr. Denis Mukwege, a Congolese doctor who has become a leader in also convincing men that war rape, rape in general, and violence against women in general are something men also need to join the fight against in their own homes, in the public, and of course, in military conflict. Dear participants of the Women of the World Talk and Act, Make It Happen conference in Nairobi, as a feminist, women's rights have been a personal commitment for me throughout my life. You know, as many of you, I'm sick and tired of seeing women being discriminated, objectified, and pushed to the margins of society. We need to break this. We need to break the glass ceilings that still prevent women from being empowered leaders in politics, in business, and at all other levels of society. Women and girls 
around the world need more and better opportunities for ourselves. Women and girls around the world need to actively participate in social life and in politics in order to change things, in order to strengthen our women's rights in each and every part of this world. Therefore, I'm welcoming very much the event you have been organizing and where you are participating now in Nairobi. And this will be a great opportunity to contribute to all of these aims. Let me finish by wishing you stimulating and fruitful discussions and actions afterwards at your today's event. I send you very warm and feminist greetings from the European Parliament. Goodbye and good luck.